So today on Underground Oddities, we're about to get weird. Yeah, weirder weirder than normal, I'd say. I'm talking like 4.30 in the morning, you're watching Dr. Steve Brule after a long day of existential crises and psychotic paranoia. That kind of weird, you know? And this real weird thing I'm talking about here is Clowncore. It's a group that I've been well aware of for a while now, but I haven't really quite went down that rabbit hole yet of looking at more of their stuff. I think I've seen about two of their videos, I think about a couple of years ago now at this point. Um, and they got a lot of material. Uh, so we're going to check out some of that today. I struggled to find much information about this group online. I even went to their website, which was a trip, by the way. Couldn't find any info about who they are. I'm just going to assume these clowns are from outer space. Yo, their merch is sick. I wish it wasn't all fucking sold out. <laughs> I want this shirt. <laughs> so Clowncore makes pretty short tracks. I mean, we're talking like a minute, sometimes two minutes. You know, they got, they got a couple of ones that are a bit longer, but the average runtime seems to be about a minute. So uh, I figured, you know what? Why not dive down into the depths of their content? Look at not just one, not two, but five of their videos in one go. But before we dive down this clown hole, if you have any strange or unique underground artists you want me to cover on this channel, comment their name below and maybe I'll take a look at them. Or you could send it to me on Twitter. Twitter is a better way to get a hold of me. I've said this a million times. It's still true. I have an Instagram too, but I don't use it. I'm sorry. I mean, I probably should, but what the fuck am I going to post there? Pictures of my face? Look at this fucking thing. Look at it. I'm gonna post- what am I- I'm not built for that shit. Alright, so the first track we're gonna be taking a look at here is called... Song. It's called Song. <laughs> I mean, it gets right to the point of what it is. It is a song. I don't think I've ever seen another song called Song. Already unique, I haven't even started it yet. Alright, let's fucking go. So yeah, you see, I wasn't joking around when I said this was going to get strange. I love that that track was both funky and heavy. Um, I wish it was longer than a goddamn minute. I mean, totally bizarre visuals as well. We got a gang of musical clown brothers here and a masked bank robber who picked up the wrong crew after the heist, but decided to go with it. Probably because they're making these heaters and probably because he's scared for his fucking life. Either or, he's with them, he's a part of the band, okay? Very important part, he drives the van. From the very first shot of this video, their mood is established. It's ominous and confusing. This lo-fi drone sort of buzzes in the background like a 50-year-old fridge, while someone squeezes on a bike horn. And as these bleak, low-pitched chords fall into the track, we see the entire inside of the van. The honking clown sitting beside the bank robber, just chilling up front, as the other clown is airing his pixelated meat crayon out the side door. <laughs> this is one hell of a way to start a video, I gotta say. Uh, perfectly tells you you're in for some Lynchian-level weird shit, except less serious and uh, more hilarious. Because, <laughs> uh... What were they thinking with this? I don't know, but I'm glad they did it. This track is a fucking banger, too. The video's really simple, but it's very, very creative. Uh, who would have thought that driving through a car wash would look so fire? Yeah, the soap's getting all the dirt off the outside. 
but that disgusting ass beat on the inside is going to stay nasty. And then the track abruptly ends and we're given a shot of them vacuuming themselves uh, while this 90s infomercial music plays. I guess that beat stank was all over them like cat hair. This is so fucked. I love it. Sick track and video. Let's go for round two. Existence. So now we get uh, this cute little saxophone tune, you know, with a light little drum in the back. But that's quickly interrupted and shoved the fuck out of the way by this nightmarish demonic section where the dude is screaming in fucking Zalgo text. Thankfully, it's translated for us so we can actually understand these esoteric lyrics they're fucking spewing at us. That scent is fucking gross. <laughs> I love, love these fat, distorted ass scents. They, God, they are just, they are chunky, extra thick, fucking frozen peanut butter. the song turns into this like badass retro video game sounding shit while the van drives through subliminal shots of floods, puppies, UFOs, Brendan Fraser? Brendan Fraser. Shouts out Brendan Fraser. He's about to be in a movie called The Whale with Darren Aronofsky. That should be good. Oh, don't eat that. And then they end the track again with that same sounding late night, early morning 90s ad music while the boys do some fine dining, <laughs> eating old bananas and, and soup and, and hand cream. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to eat hand cream. It's in a garbage. Don't drink a hand, a hand cream. That's for your hand. It's for your hands, I should say. <laughs> Dude's insides are about to be moisturized, man. It's gonna have some smooth guts. <laughs> right. Um, next video we got uh, Tears of God. This is uh, beautiful, but I am 
still fucking nervous right now. You know, I thought for sure something was going to jump out of me during this one. I was just waiting. I was just waiting for that jump scare. But it didn't happen. But before I knew there wasn't going to be a jump scare, I had this like sense of dread hanging over me the entire time. Uh, but now that I know that doesn't happen, I can appreciate the song for what it is. Although maybe it was intended to put you on edge regardless. Uh, either way, it's a great piece of eerie, dreamy melodies. Sort of sleepy, but engaging. Sounds like something you'd hear in like a 70s animated movie, like Fantastic Planet or something like that. You know, even though the video is very simple, um, it's incredibly atmospheric, a very ominous use of sky replacement. Makes it feel very otherworldly. It's both day and night simultaneously. I like that. And what's the plot here? Some may say, ah, yeah, you know, it's just a shot of a fucking van. But me, my brain is like, well, maybe this is where the clowns sleep and uh, the world turns into this psychedelic sort of nightscape where dreary wind instruments play a lullaby. Either way, it's a shot of a fucking van. These guys are really good at creating visceral feelings with a minimalistic premise. Whether it's to creep you out, or to make you laugh, or to give you an anxious but cozy feel, they pull it off with simple setups. But that's not to say that these are one note or surface level concepts, because clearly these dudes are on a whole nother level of consciousness that my troglodyte brain struggles to unravel even slightly. I don't know what's happening most of the time. Even in my normal everyday life, I don't, I rarely know what's happening. These guys are unusual, outlandish, they're, f they're fucking freaks. but in a good way. Next video, computers. Oh, they got the fat synth again. How does he, how does he, uh, how does he rap that fast? Rap God who? This is the real rap god right here, sorry. Sorry, Eminem. What's his name again? Em Eminem? Is that, what, is that what it is? This clown's sitting here spitting these perplexing bars our way at a million words a second. Like rapid fire assault weaponry that just blasts fucking question marks at you. Like, good luck deciphering those lyrics. I don't spend time reading ancient alien languages on the deep web, so... I'm gonna just admire the strangeness from a distance. I wanna see someone try and karaoke this shit, like, word for word, for real, you know? In, in, in a, in a real Earth language? Man, that one clown plays the saxophone so well. Uh, I wonder if he's like a professional musician with a degree and stuff, you know, like professionally trained. Uh, and in his spare time, he just says, fuck it. I'm gonna wear a clown mask and frighten people. Artistically.
then the video ends with the getaway driver getting hit in the lips by a cock-shaped airbag, followed by a shot of a dude who ate way too much of that zesty dip from Burger King. That's what you fucking get for drinking used hand cream out of a dumpster, you fucking lunatic. I love their totally unpredictable sense of humor. That's definitely the best kind of humor, in my opinion. Stuff that you don't see coming. Uh, I love that kind of humor that just punches you out of nowhere. Right in your fucking cavities. Honestly, uh, Clowncore should be on Wikipedia's list of known cryptids. They'd, they'd fit in. Alright, final video we're going to be taking a look at here is called Hell. It's from three years ago. From around the era where I saw their music before. I'm excited. Let's fucking go to hell. All of my farts come straight from hell. You're already dead if you notice the smell. <laughs> this is my kind of poetry. You see, honestly, I'm kind of sick of motherfuckers pretending to like Shakespeare. Goddamn 1500s head ass rocking a giant scrunchie around your gullet. Dost thou licketh thine arse? Talking like you got a bunch of dog hair on your tongue. Get that shit out of here, man. Does anyone actually like that? You're just pretending, right? Oh, but it's very important. Yeah, 500 fucking years ago it was important. Oh my god, dude. Like, imagine you had to take the worst dump of your life, and you're just running, sprinting, at like a gold medal pace, towards this porta potty And you open that door and you just... I mean, you're never gonna wear those pants ever again. I love the drummer's combination of those th thick synths, mixed with that one-handed drumming. I mean, that that's... That's a pretty unique uh, thing. I don't know how many people I've ever seen do that before. But I like that combination of things at the same time from one person. That's just really fucking cool. It sounds so awesome when combined. Really adds some extra weight to those hits. And combined with that sax, yet again, it's just so... This shit is ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> it's so much fun. It's also very fitting that they called this one hell since it's filmed in a mobile sewer. You ever been in one of those things? Or like a festival or something? If hell ends up being real, there's no way it's worse than one of those that's been manhandled by 2,000 drugged out shit factories. People are fucking nuts, dude. So, that was Clowncore. What a twisted experience. Fat synths, smooth nightmare jazz, anxious lullabies, bloody piss, airbags that will definitely not save you from a head-on collision. Get it? Head? Oh. This is the perfect combination for a musical experience. Yes. Yes. Clowncore. Shouts out to fucking Clowncore. This was Underground Oddities. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe maybe, if you want. All of those things would greatly help the channel out. 
Um, I appreciate every single comment I get, all the suggestions, always super wild. I love you guys. Um, and you know, honestly, usually about like two people make it this far into the video. So to those two people watching, you and you, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. You know, all jokes aside, if you made it this far, drop two clown emojis in the comments. I just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Just leave a little comment with two clown emojis for the clowns, for the boys. Anyway, take care, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully.